Hello and welcome to Invisa News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. News in detail. As many as 29 persons have come to COVID-19 on Wednesday. With this, the cumulative death toll in the district has reached to 2,869. On the other hand, 743 persons went home after recovery and obtaining permission from the concerned medical authorities. With this, the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 78,214, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district has now improved to 88.38%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 88,499 with 609 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the death toll, concerned medical officials revealed that of the total casualties, 513 and 2030 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as two while well, as many as 326 persons are from outside Nagpur district. The Maharashtra government has issued guidelines for further relaxation in the state starting from October 15 as part of the ongoing unlocking process. From tomorrow, metro trains will be allowed to start in a graded manner. The notification said, business to business exhibition will also be allowed in the state from Thursday with necessary COVID-19 precautions. Government and public libraries will also be allowed to function shops and markets shops and markets will remain open from 9 a.m to 9 p.m local weekly markets including that of animal will be allowed from tomorrow the mva coalition led government is following the mva coalition led government is following its own unlocking pattern as the state has the highest number of covid 19 cases and casualties across the country long after restaurants were open in other states Maharashtra government allowed restaurants and bars to function only from after five recommencement of weekly market is a welcome sign for small traders the anti-narcotics sale of crime branch nav five drugs peddler under kapil nagar police on wednesday and c72.398 grams of ganja was rupees 10.80 lakhs besides an innova car six mobile phones cops confiscated material collectively of rupees 20.30 lakhs the name of the accused were given as J. Rupam Govardhan, a resident of Varda, Sachin Kailas of Deshmukh, Amit Rohidas Patil, Yogesh, Dodi Ram Salonke, all resident of Chalis Gao, and Deepak Ashok Shevale, a resident of Jalgao. According to police sources, cops received tip of about a silver Innova car that was sent to smuggle ganja into Nagpur. Cops laid a trap between Automotive Square and Kapil Nagar Square and caught the accused. The operation was planned under the supervision of CP Amitesh Kumar, ACP Sunil Pulari, DCP Vivek Musal, and ACP Sudhir Nandanwar. The 64th Dhamma Chakra was organized with pomp and splendor at various places in Nagpur district. The event was observed with great enthusiasm, especially in the city and other outer suburb areas like Butipuri, Wadi, and Kamti. COVID-19 induced Restrictions were strictly followed during these events. During one such event in Shravasti Buddha Vihar in Vagdhara on Wednesday, Hingla Police Station Sub Inspector Sapnakshir Sagar, Sarpanch Premnath Patel, Gram Sevika Suhasini Kole, Vaman Rao Walke, Guruji Garland, and the statue of Dr. Baba Sarva Medkar and told the attendees about his enormous contribution for the society and the cause of upliftment of millions of downtrodden people across the country. Arvind Walke, Arvind Ghi of Hingna Police Station, Gumgao Bit, Shipai, Rahul, Chandu Harke, Sukhdev Kobrakade, Pankaj, Gote, Ashok Patil, Uday Kobrakade, Manukala, Walke, Kavita Patil, Niranjana, Chamte, Salim Mal, Gaurav Chaple and others were prominently present on the occasion. On Wednesday, a man who was a Dhaba employee was crossing the road during which a high-speed vehicle hit him. He was killed on the spot. The accident occurred in the afternoon on Wednesday under Puttipuri police station. The deceased has been identified as Rajesh Ganesh Prasad Tiwari, a resident of Narkhet. His age is between 50 to 55. He used to work at Amrit Dhaba near Jangeshwar. He had left his job due to the coronavirus pandemic-induced lockdown. 
Due to weak economic condition, he had to, however, come to the Dhaba to seek work again. But due to somebody else already replacing him, the Dhaba owner refused to take him back to work. Therefore, he decided to return. Meanwhile, a speeding vehicle coming from the Hyderabad Nagpur route struck him. In the impact, he suffered serious injury and died on the spot. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned within this end news. Till then, Ratnaika says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and your family.